Alrighty, what's going on guys, and today I'm going to be going through my Crunker settings. So, I'm going to show you how to improve your Crunker settings for more FPS, for low spec or even high spec, it doesn't matter. So, um, I feel like a lot of people are going to want to see this. So, uh, let's get right into it. Hey, hey you need a break? Alrighty, so to start off, I have my resolution capped at 1, because when it's on 2, obviously, you're going to lose a little bit of FPS, but, um, there's no, I don't see any different from it being on 1 and 2, like, I really don't see the change, it doesn't, to me, it does not make my game look any better, so I keep this at 1. My frame cap, if, you don't want to cap FPS on this game, you want to try and get as much FPS as possible, if you're trying to slide hop and whatever, you're gonna want to have like more FPS so frame cap is on zero uh, my aspect ratio I keep that my aspect ratio on 1280 by 1024 um, honestly I don't know what this is really for but I've always it's always been on this for me so I've obviously just gonna keep it as that um, low spec mode off particles off shadows off ambient shading off bullet trails that's so these four here, obviously, I keep them um, off because if they're going to be on, I'm, I'm going to be losing FPS. So the more things you're going to be turning off, the better FPS you're going to get in the end. And these kind of things I don't really need. They're just using more of my um, computer. Um, bullet trails. I like to keep bullet trails on. This is kind of preference, these three. I keep bullet trails on because I want to know where my bullets are going. Muzzle flash and sniper flap. I really don't need them on. They they annoy me. But uh, back to UI. I usually have my UI scale on one, but for the video, I'm obviously going to keep it on 0.7. But I, I like to have a smaller small UI, so I keep it on that. But for now, I'm just going to keep it here. Uh, show UI scale on. You're going to want to be able to see UI, so keep that on. Dynamic HP bars. That's so you can see um, see enemies HPs or your HP. So I keep that on. I show hit indicator I and show damage. I don't care how much damage I'm doing. The enemy's going to have a health bar, so I can tell off that. So I turn damage off and hit indicators off. So I don't really need to know that. Uh, damage color and crit color, that's obviously preference. You can choose whatever color you want there. My damage scale, uh, normally it's on 1, I, I believe. I do not remember. But I keep it on 0 0.1 because... I, I really don't mind. Like, like I said before, I don't care how much damage I'm doing. I don't really need to be able to see it when they've got a, a, a HP bar. So I keep it on lowest possible. Show chat on. I want to be able to see the chat, see the toxicity in the game, you know. You love to see it. Show kill feed, show kill counter, death counter. So all the stuff that appears in the top right of your screen. That's all this kind of stuff. Player messages, yeah. I don't like to see people's unboxings. They just, I always, everyone's always getting Contras. Me, I've got one, spent countless amounts of uh, KR and do not get one. So, kind of makes me sad when I see that. So, I keep that off. Show ping off. I keep that off because I don't really need to see my ping. And the more things that are going to be turned off, the higher FPS you're going to get in the end. Uh, show FPS. I like to have my FPS on. Everyone likes to see how much FPS they're on. Movement speed. And then again, preference. You can keep that on if you want. I personally don't want that on. I don't need to um, see how fast I'm going or whatever my movement speed is or whatever. Uh, speed offset, both on 5. I'm pretty sure that's default. Show medals. Medals, um, I, I was, then again, they're things that pop up on the screen. I don't, I'm don't. i trying to minimize all that, so I turn that off. Name tag, display on everyone, so you can see everybody's name. And then style, everything, so you, you get to see it all, the health. Uh, crosshair, this is my, I have it on image because I have a custom crosshair, which you can, you can get any image from the internet and paste it in here, but then again, preference again, choose whatever you want for that one, and I have it on always show, so I like to see it. My X and Y sensitivity is both 0.4, as well as my aim and Y is 0.5. Then again, like, again, most of these settings here are preference. Um... Field of view, max up. I like to see everything. I want to see from every angle, so my um, field of view is fully up. Lag compensation, not too sure what this does, so I just kept it on one. 
scroll direction keep that on if you want to be able to scroll through your weapons and stuff keep that on uh streamer mode i uh, don't really care about that challenge mode invert these are up to you they really don't do much uh controller settings there i don't use controller but if you want to see a controller video comment down below and let me know if you want to see me play with controller because i'll be happy to do that but that's the controls of the defaults um, I don't want to hear any gameplay, anyone talking in the game, so I have that off. And sound point two, because my sound is very loud. And I just got a new headset and everything. And it's, f like, loud. So, I've kept it on point two. View model. So, this is your weapon F F FOV. I have it on max as well. I like to, I like it like that. Like, these, all these things here are preference. How you, like, where you want your weapon. If you want bobbing, whatever. So, this is, like, x and y and z is whereabouts you want your gun on the screen um show primary i have these when i'm sweating i have these off hide weapon on ads i like to not have my weapon out when i aim so that's why i keep hide weapon on um ads on you know you got the whole screen the guns are in the way and i like to show my melee I, even though i don't have a knife at all i still like to keep it on um, here is, this is just preference as well, but I like to have my health all purple. You know, purple's my favorite color. I, everything on my YouTube, you know, I try and keep it purple. So I keep all these purple. So the, when I kill someone, the score that comes up purple, my health all purple. I don't need a shadow on it. Then like I want more, I'm trying to max my FPS. So disable that. Um, I like to keep my scale, the score scale low. Because sometimes like it's quite large on the screen, uh, so I like to have it low. Um, saturation I like to keep on two. I like I like my game like I like my game how it looks. So if you want to your game to look like mine, then turn your saturation to two. UI this this changes everything. All the colors I keep that like there. The color hue in game you can play with that as much as you want as you can tell it's changing everything but i keep it on zero same as ui keep it on zero um vignetti i think that's how you pronounce this is you can see i'm not sure if you can see but it's like a um it kind of brings a dark opacity around the outside of the screen it's kind of if you want to um a lot of editors use this for uh cinematics and ever whatever but then again i don't want that zero Chat opacity on 5, that's the chat down the bottom left. I like to keep on 0 0.5 so it's not too dark. The BG background capacity um, opacity, I keep on 1. I like to have an outline on the text. Chat height, 2.5. Death map off and green screen. You, This, I don't understand why this is a setting. Keep that off, please. Um, These are mods. I use mods. As you can tell, mods are down here. And if you auto-load mods, the... Yeah, I keep that on because um, I want the mod I use, it's, it's uh, silenced and also it sharpens the map a bit. So I like to keep that on so I don't have to keep putting it on. If you put auto load, auto load mods on, the last mod you use will automatically be there. You can only have one on there though. Um, these are all what you want to do as well. A uh, scope borders, by the way, um, is when you scope in with a sniper if you want to there's usually a black background i like to have that off so i can obviously see more but all these things like my scope image hit mark image reticle image these are all you can get them on the, in the off the internet if you want but if you want all these ones i'll put them in the description so you can keep them as well as my settings file it'll be in the description as well uh, match end this is what you want to say at the end of a match so if you want it to automatically just say gg gg well played so every time a match finishes it'll come up in chat saying gg well played i usually keep it on subscribe to me on youtube just uploaded a video or whatever you know some people actually come to look at it which so it's always bringing people in as well as these these are all files that i want for like uh how many kills i'm on i have like custom images up the top right there so that's what those are as you can tell you got like the ditto the pepe frog and the nuke symbol that is all these you can find whatever files you want but then again if you want these exact ones it'll be in the description below use damage overlay i have off not too sure what it is i have those as nothing and unlimited fps on and window capture i usually leave on because obviously i for my obs 
I keep window capture on as it lets me um, pick up the game on my OBS. So I keep that on, but that's up to you if you stream or whatnot. So those are my settings. I hope you all enjoyed. Um, leave a comment down below if you enjoyed the video and if that helped you or helped you get more FPS. I usually get about 300 to 350 FPS in game now, now that my settings are this. So um, also the the file to all these settings. So if you don't want to go through and change it, if you want exactly what I have, um, there's a file in the description which you have just have to download. Um, so there's an import button right here. So once you've downloaded my file, you click import and you enter the settings like thing in into here and submit it and your settings will my settings will automatically link up to you so yeah i hope you all enjoyed the video uh leave a comment down below if this helped you gain any fps or helped you in any way so i'm always i always need to know <clears throat> anyways thanks for watching everybody that's the end of my settings video i hope you all enjoyed it leave a comment down below if it helped at all and if you want to see me um play on a controller let me know as well because if enough people want me to play on controller then i reckon that'd be an awesome video i could get that going all right peace out everyone i hope you all have a great day night whatever it is and i'll see you all soon peace out